At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have worked. Because we know that if you grow, you the community will grow with you. At the Bendigo, it starts with you. Welcome back to the Geelong Cricket Show. And yes, it's finals time in our great town of Geelong. And our special guest, unfortunately, has missed out in the finals. And we'll come to that during our interview. President of the South Barwon Cricket Club, Mr Darren Hornstein. Morning, Darren. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, Graham. How are you going yourself? I'm absolutely fantastic. Ready sitting for a big day's play? I, sitting alongside a Collingwood supporter as a Geelong supporter, you couldn't help but be fantastic. Darren, you sit there proudly with that wonderful South Barwon Cricket Club uh, T to Polo top on, the Bendigo Bank the insignia on the right hand side, the South Barwon Cricket Club, Cricket Victoria, VB 2020 final, Sunday the 1st of March, 2009 in the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Hold up the outcome because there it is, viewers. Eat your heart out the rest of Geelong Cricket. The South Barwon Cricket Club took out the VB 2020 winner, $1,500 and a magnificent piece of silverware that Collingwood haven't seen since 1990. You must be proud. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a great day um, a few weeks ago, so an experience that all the guys that played and everyone that participated will not forget. What was it like playing on the big G for our viewers? Um, yeah, no, it was pretty sort of amazing when you sort of look up and you see yourself on the big screen up there um obviously batting when i batted i was a bit uh bit daunted and didn't actually get off the mark so at least i made a, a duck on the mcg but just being in the uh <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that darren yeah. yeah no i was ready for that just uh yeah just being at the mcg was a great experience and just to be in the rooms and just the same spot where all the Australian Victorian players actually get to play and then win a game on there was just spectacular. Who were the key players in the game? Who actually did star on the? Uh, um, bowling wise, turf. bowling wise, we probably had a pretty even performance. Ando, Ando got a couple of wickets. The first two wickets there, where I was able to take two catches on the G, so that's one good thing. You obviously would have had your hair done, makeup, that sort of stuff. So when you look yeah. up on the big screen, yeah, no. Nah, before we sort of got onto the ground, we uh, made sure we looked okay. So <laughs> and I got his tats nice, up, nice and out, so ready. So no, nah, um, and with the bat, uh, the other team made 130 first off. They're only four down, so we thought they probably should have got a bit more. They didn't really go for it at the end. Uh, with the bat. Um, we got off to a slow start. I think we were only about five after probably three or four overs. And then uh, Jeremy Babb, um, he batted with Brad for a while and, and Babsy uh, hit a few boundaries and brought up about 36 off 20 balls. And then uh, Damien Hester come in and he really his innings won us the game. He scored 50, about 56 runs off about 32 balls and we got home with a four and the three balls to go in the 20th over. So And that was, yeah... Pretty, pretty Exciting big day. game. Yep. South Barwon defeating the Ashburton Willows Cricket Club. So uh, on the MCG, a great moment for uh, a great club down here in the GCA. Congratulations again, Darren. We're proud of you. And uh, I'm sure the 1,500 notes will be put uh, well and truly to good use. Probably already spent it. Yeah, no, I think we actually <laughs> might have spent it that night. So <laughs> Casino. <laughs> no, we didn't quite no, go to the we... casino. But no, it was, a, it was a good night. But yeah, it seems like a while ago now. Well... What wasn't such a long time ago was last weekend, as far as the GCA qualifying finals were concerned. Geelong West were playing South Barwon at Winter Reserve. Geelong West scored three for 61 on Sunday, and that was when stumps were drawn. It was a drawn game, and as a result, because Geelong West finished higher uh, on the ladder, they've progressed into the semi-finals rounds. But Dean Armstrong, what a bizarre weekend, particularly on Saturday when there was an under-17 grand final played on the same wicket, on the same ground in the morning and then South Barwon and Geelong West were unable to get a start in the afternoon. Your comments? Very bizarre. Obviously, Mother Nature uh, did take over a little bit on Saturday afternoon. There was quite a fair bit of rain. But uh, the other two games in particular got full full days play in both both Saturday and Sunday, and 
for look. I can see that uh, the under 17s uh, they want to try and promote uh, turf cricket, but to see uh, South Barwon and Geelong West play on, not being able to play on the Saturday is uh, you know it's very disappointing. I suppose you, you look back to the full season where not one under 17 game is played on the centre wickets because they try to protect it for obviously the best game that we play, which is GCA, and then come to the finals we decide to play an under 17 game on the same ground as what we're playing a finals game. Look, GCA, you've made a wrong decision. Darren, how was the spirit? And the, it must have been dampening, and, and I'm not, 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 not intending a pun there, but, I mean, I, I travelled past the ground at about uh, 3.30, and, I mean, uh, umpire Wayne Richards was out there, and all you could see was uh, the, uh, the track suits of the South Barwon players. They were obviously out there very concerned at wanting to get underway. Um, yeah, I suppose when we, we turned up, we were a, a bit, I suppose, bemused at a... A junior game. We'd already heard, obviously, through the morning that a junior game had been played there, and I suppose we were a bit bemused about that. Um, when we got to the ground, um, I suppose the wicket there was like a, a wet patch um, near the probably in left-handers um, off stump, um, and that was the umpire's main concern. Uh, the square was a bit wet because the wicket they were playing on was right next to um, the wicket the seniors were playing on. So when the rain did come, it was breaking the juniors. Um, so they might have got some water on the wicket at that stage. But then the whole thing was that um, by the time the umpire sort of inspected the wicket, he was concerned about uh, the the line of the bowlers running in, right-handed bowlers. And yeah, I suppose it come down to, to two captains. Um, you had one captain who did want to play, obviously, because South Barn had to win. And then on the other hand, most other clubs would have done the same thing. You had Geelong West where those guys knew that they just needed to get a draw to, to make it through to the next round. So, you know, nine out of ten captains would have done the same thing as what um, Geelong West and Glenn did. But... I'm not sure how to how to solve that sort of issue. Well, it's been it's it's been a good a good season again for uh, for South Barwon, and uh, you should be congratulated on what you've achieved. And of course, you've still got sides playing in the finals and other grades. Yeah, no, I've got four of our lower grade teams playing today: the uh, thirds, fourth, fifth, and seventh. So um, those guys should yeah give it a good crack today. And uh, then uh, hopefully uh, semi final wins into uh, into the grand final. So that uh, could could be still. Further pieces of silverware down at uh, South Bar and at Reynolds Reserve. Yeah, we hope so. Um, I don't think the trophies will be as impressive as the uh, the VBT20 trophy that we've got there. But um, yeah, anything for the guys there will be good. And uh, Brad Hornstein, your brother, um, would have to be a very certainly in the top three as far as uh, potential outcome of Jack Singh medalists for season two double oh eight double oh nine. Yeah, well, he's had a again like he's had another good season, made he, making almost seven hundred runs. Um, you know, which is a well, I can only imagine what it'd be like to make seven hundred <laughs> runs in one season. But <laughs> maybe dream about it, mate. <laughs> and uh, also with the ball, he's taken you know twenty odd wickets, so he'd definitely be up there um, in the top three. Thanks very much, Darren Hornstein, president of the South Barwon Cricket Club. As we go to a break, we'll be back with more after this. At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have Because we know that if you grow, the community will grow with you. At the Bendigo, it starts with you.